This is Tim Burton. Tim Burton's films are highly recognizable by the color scheme, odd characters, and his fascination of contraptions. His transitions are also recognizable by the visual elegance he presents. I personally picked Tim Burton knowing I could relate to him. Because everybody's different. When you're in pain, you need some sort of release, like drawing, thinking, writing, creating. Tim Burton has a love for dachshunds, wasn't always the most liked in school, and started the process of film at an early age, like me. As a preteen, Tim Burton made short films in his backyard using crude stop motion animation techniques or shot them on 8mm film without sound. The Island of Dr. Agar was one of the films Tim had first made at 13. In high school, he found pleasure in painting, drawing, and watching films. His future work was heavily influenced by Dr. Seuss and Ronald Dahl, both well-known illustrators. After graduating high school, Burden attended California Institution of Arts to major in character animation. Burden produced the film Stock of the Celery Monster and King and Octopus, both at Cal Arts. Stock of the Celery Monster was the film that had attracted the attention of Walt Disney's animation department in which they offered Tim Burton an animator's apprenticeship at Walt Disney Studio. While at Disney in 1982, Burton made his first short, Vincent, a six-minute black-and-white stop-motion film based on a poem written by the filmmaker and portraying a young boy who fantasizes that Vincent Price is his hero. Later on in his career, Burton's live-action short, Frankenweenie, was released in 1984. It tells the story of a young boy who tries to revive his dog after it is run over by a car. After Frankenweenie was completed, Disney fired Burton under the excuse of him spending the company's expenses on doing a film that would be too dark and scary for children to see. Not long after, actor Paul Rubens saw Vincent and Frankenweenie and chose Burton to direct the cinematic spinoff of his popular character, Pee Wee Herman. After working with Paul Rubin, various film directors had reached out to Burton Later in the years of his success, Burton remade his 1984 short film, Frank and Weenie, as a feature-length stop-motion film. Distributed by Walt Disney Pictures, the film was then released on October 5, 2012. Tim Burton has been able to produce some of the most famous films, which include Edward Scissorhands, The Corpse's Bride, the Christmas classic The Nightmare Before Christmas, What's this? What's this? Beetlejuice. It's showtime. Batman, Pee Wee's Big Adventure, and Frankenweenie. Some well-known remakes of original films that Burton took and made in his own version include Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and Alice in Wonderland. Tim Burton faces several challenges. Tim Burton has a critical, cynical attitude toward words many religions and philosophies. Without realizing it, he prevents himself from appreciating new viewpoints and attitudes. His approach may also be too intellectual. His fears revolve around money and material security, and Tim Burton works very hard to secure that his benefits are solid. He may be very conservative, even mean, with his money because he is afraid there will not be enough. He may turn his fear around and become very wise about investments and financial matters. Very often, however, Tim stands alone when he does not need to, not realizing the support, assistance, and resources others may have to offer. Implicit in this attitude is a kind of arrogance as well as rather competitive approach, which at its worst can isolate him from others or make Tim Burton feel that it is me against the world. In all, I think that Tim Burton is a super intelligent and very creative with his imagination. He is serious about making his films different from other artists. My overall opinion did in fact change, as I am wildly fascinated by the stop-motion parts in his live films, the color schemes, and storylines. My overall favorite productions of his would have to be Edward Scissorhands, 
the reinvented Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, and the newer Frankenweenie. Another thing that I love about Tim Burton is that he creates these characters who are outcasts that have no friends to have various talents. Story make a skeleton cry of our own jubiliciously lovely corpse bride. 